Uh, hi everyone, uh, my work is called Bawilia, Coronata and Nichida. These are two projects, two software projects, which I said that were the remote technologies for a sustainable world. My name is André Valente, André Felipe Valente. I am a professor at EIFSP Campinas of Information Technology. I am a programmer by formation and vocation. And I'm interested in programming languages, software design, object orientation, usability, and tool development. This work is pretty much about all of these. Um, let's first talk about a little bit about electronic waste. Then I'll present my works. Uh, I'll tell about something about future work and conclusions. Well, You've probably already seen these images or similar images sometime in your life. Uh, these are, are pictures of the real world. So we live in a world that produces a lot of electronic waste. Lots and lots of electronic waste. And that's because we consume lots of electronic devices. And on, on an annual basis, we generate more than 20 million tons of electronic waste. It's really very much. And what to do about that? What can we do to reduce that? What can we do uh, when this, this waste is already generated? Well, there's a very simple rule of thumb that we can use, which is called the three R's principle. You may have already heard about it. It's called the three R's principle. It means to reduce, reuse, and recycle. So if we can reduce the consumption that we have, we will help the planet to generate less waste. If you can reuse stuff to do other things, you can avoid throwing them away too soon. You can uh, help too. The least preferred option is to recycle. Recycling generates some waste on itself, and also needs energy. So recycling is good, but it's not the best option. The best options are really to reduce and reuse. Um, so what does this have to do with the Wii Remote? The Wii Remote is this remote controller for the Nintendo Wii console. It is commonly known also as Wiimote, and it's a Bluetooth device. It has buttons, it has accelerometers, it has infrared tracking capabilities, and it's compatible with many Bluetooth adapters. And what does this have to do with electronic waste? Well, um, I, I wanted to have a remote presenter at some time, and then I, I thought, well, do I really have to buy one? There are many commercial remote presenters available, but do I really have to buy one to do this task? Well, Actually not. And then I, I, I begin searching for things that I already had that could do this, this job. I tried with my cell phone and it didn't work. I know there are cell phones that can do that. Then I, 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 uh, I thought, what else do I have? What else do I have that could perform this task? And then I found this, the controller for, for the Nintendo Wii. It's a Bluetooth device, so it can be used for that function with proper software. Um, and connecting a Wii Remote to a computer, is that something new? Is that something that nobody ever done? No, uh, actually not. Very much, uh, many people have already done that. It is not something new. There are many interesting projects out there that demonstrate what you can do with this. These, these are three from this guy named Johnny Chang Lee. There is a way to track your fingers, there is a way to track your head, there's a way to do a multi-touch uh, digital interactive whiteboard, very low cost, very interesting. There are videos for that. Well, um, okay, so I wanted to connect this to a computer to use it as a remote presenter, like I'm doing right now. Uh, are there already applications that can do that? Yes, there are. I found these three, which are called GlobePy, Remote Presenter, and Seaweed. So why are developing another one? Well, GlovePy is one of the most famous. It's target, targeted at the hacking community. So it's made uh, for people who want to hack stuff. People who want to 
uh, know and understand how stuff works and make them do other things. It has powerful features, can do a lot of, a lot of things, but it's also non-intuitive. It's not easy for people who are not technical to use it. And it's only for Windows, and it requires administrative privileges to run. Then I found Remote Presenter. It's more intuitive, it's more targeted at really using the Wii Remote as a remote presenter. And it has some extra features. Most importantly, it works out of box. You just open it and it works. It doesn't need configuration. But it's only for Windows. That is its main limitation. And then there's Seaweed for Linux. It is a collection of console programs to connect the Wii Remote to the computer and use it to control it. Well, installation and configuration are somewhat complicated. I, I wouldn't imagine myself uh, telling someone who is not from the information technology to, to use it. They would not use it. It would be complicated. It also, by default, is an administrative privilege, pseudo to run, and it's only for Linux. So, because of these limitations, I decided to implement my own, my own application, which is called Nichida. Nichida is a Latin word. Uh, well, Nichida is cross-platform, it was tested on Windows and Linux, it works fine on both of these operating systems. It has a very simple and informative user interface. Uh, and it consists of a small portable executable jar file. So it's just a single jar file with less than one megabyte that you download and execute it, and you're ready to go. But on Windows, you have to pair the controller to, to the Windows boot configuration before. But this is also a limitation of other things. It has very few requirements, just need a Wii Remote, a Bluetooth adapter, Java runtime environment 1.6 or newer. And on Linux, you have to install system package once. On, on Ubuntu, it's lib Bluetooth dev. It's one, one time step requires sudo, then it don't require sudo again. And why Java? Java was chosen as the programming language. Well, Java has this very simple class called Java AWT Robot, uh, which generates keyboard events. Very easy to use, works very fine. And it does not need administrative privileges. Also, Java programs are portable, and portability was a very uh, important design goal. And Java is already installed on many computers, so uh, there's more, there, there's a greater chance that this application will work on a computer not your own. Okay, so uh, to sum up a bit about the development, I have assessed some of uh, some remote related libraries. There are lots of them around. Uh, the result was that no one, uh, no single library would suffice, would work well both on Linux and Windows. So I decided to develop my own library based on the existing ones. And there's Coronata. Coronata is the Java library to develop remote applications. It was used to develop Nichida, and it can be used to develop other applications as well. It's cross-platform, it's easy to use, has a simple API, and currently supports the most basic features of remote, which is listening to button pressing, turning legs on, and vibrating the controller. Well, here's the architecture of Nichida and Coronata. Uh, I guess there won't be much time for that, but for you to have an idea, it goes uh, from the application layer to the, the operating system native libraries layer. Well, future works, uh, there's, there are always improvements to make, there are some improvements in usability to, to be made in it, on native. Uh, Coronata should be tested on macOS, which it hasn't until now. Um, there are improvements to be made on the API, some new features, and some uh, uh, detecting disconnection of the remote on Windows, which is still not working. So, to sum up, Nitida is a good option if you have an idle Wii remote at home and want to make it useful. Coronata is an easy to use library for writing Wii remote applications. These projects are open source and are available on GitHub under the name Bowinia. Remember the three R's principle, reduce, reuse, and recycle. 
Recycling is good, but reducing and reusing are better. Whenever you think about buying something, consider developing it yourself. You might reduce waste, learn a lot, save money, and even start a nice new project. Finally, these are the credits for the images. If you have any questions, you can post them on the comments section of the video and I'll be glad to answer them. You can also find the slides for this presentation on Speaker Deck. The link is available in the description of the video. Hope you find these projects useful. Thanks for watching.